Due to the differences in economies, culture, medical system, and coverage among Asian countries, the pharmacy service and pharmacist practice contents not only vary from one country to another, but are also quite different from those in Europe and America. Since its establishment in 1964, the Federation of Asian Pharmaceutical Association, FAPA, has remained the largest and most representative pharmaceutical science organization. There are currently 21 member countries and 26 annual conferences have been held. FAPI looks forward to, together with member countries, co-promoting improvement of the medical and practicing environment so as to be in line with that of advanced countries. There are many countries under development in Asia. Unbalanced medical resources, distribution, and poor medical environment are both serious. To improve medical environment, besides relocating governmental resources to public health, it is even important to reinforce pharmacy practice education. Therefore, we have set up FAPA Foundation based in Taiwan since 2012 and promote good pharmacy practice, GPP, offering training programs and scholarship for pharmacists from developing countries in Asia. Since 2012, FAPA has held GPP in-hospital training programs in Taiwan consecutively for five years. So far, 64 pharmacists from various countries in Asia have attended it. GPP has been introduced into the daily practice of hospital pharmacists in the Philippines and Indonesia through this program. The Community Pharmacy GPP Workshop, sponsored by the Japan Pharmacists Association and the FAPA Community Pharmacy Section, was held in Fukuoka, Japan this year, sharing precious practice experiences of Japanese pharmacists to participating pharmacists from other countries. FAPA will continue substantially promoting GPP in community pharmacy and in hospital pharmacy to all Asian countries. Additionally, to encourage young pharmacists to participate in international public affairs, Mr. Joseph Wong, the current president of FAPA, has invited young Asian pharmacists and founded the Asian Young Pharmacist Group, AYPG, based in Taiwan since 2011. FAPA even offered the venue space for AYPG activities during the FAPA annual conference since last year. The AYPG is taking over hosting GPP training program from this year. Hopefully, young pharmacists will be learning by doing such organization and training. In addition to promoting pharmacists' practicing environment and pharmacy education in Asian countries, FAPA has been devoted to natural disaster relief work through its organization so as to back up the pharmacists and pharmacy students in those countries. On Nepal earthquake in April 2015, together from Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Philippines, and the FAPA Foundation, we donated 100,000 US dollars to Nepal Pharmacy Council to help more than 400 victim pharmacists and pharmacy students it demonstrates FAPA, we are family, we are one, helping each other's spirit. FAPA works with WHO. Besides former professional education promotion activities, in order to raise general disease understanding and fight against AMR issue, FAPA sponsored the international comic competition for those themes. As a result, the artwork from Cambodia, Malaysia, and the Philippines won the prize. The main theme is focused on NCD this year. We have invited WHO and the member countries' representatives to hold stakeholder roundtable workshop and emphasize the importance of pharmacy's role. This year, we announced to the pharmacists of the FAPOF member countries that our self-prevention initiative has been kicked off and it emphasizes the importance of the pharmacist's role in good health. In May 2017, FAPA will host 
in cooperation with Malaysian Pharmaceutical Society, Separation of Dispensing and Prescribing, STP Workshop, sharing STP practice experience and the patient outcome from Japan, Taiwan, and Korea. It is effective Malaysia and other countries where STP has not practiced will get benefits in promoting STP so that country pharmacists may perform their proficiency. FAPA will focus on the STP issue for the next two years. Only if STP is practiced can patients get the best medical care. Physicians and pharmacists should work as a team. The physician diagnoses and prescribes, while the pharmacist checks the prescription to avoid drug-on-drug -drug interaction or medicine duplication and ensures drugs use safety. 